Hi, it's wonderful to have you stop by for a visit. I appreciate when you take the time to watch and comment on my videos. What is buyer's remorse when it comes to a relationship and how do you decide if you're happy with the person you're dating or if you need to keep looking? Recently, I received this comment about my video that outlines the sentient dating techniques and how they relate to sales. I've got the sales part down pat. It's the buyer's remorse that always gets me. This comment came from an actual salesman, so let's talk about what buyer's remorse is in the world of sales and how that relates to relationships. Buyer's remorse is the sense of regret after having made a purchase. The more invested you are in the purchase, and the more choices you have about what to purchase, the more likely it is that you will suffer from buyer's remorse. How does that relate to dating and relationships? I've talked about the five stages of dating, and at each stage you must make the decision whether to continue dating this person, somebody else, or remain single. In stage one, attraction, you have many choices, but you aren't invested in any particular one. You begin to narrow down that field of options the further into the relationship you go, but you become more invested as well. By the time you've reached engagement and marriage, your choices are down to yes or no, and your level of commitment has increased to maximum. How do you further decrease the chances that you or your partner will experience the cognitive dissonance created by making this final choice and ensure that you are completely happy with committing to this important life decision? Let's go over the decisions you need to make at each stage of dating so that you will know you're doing the right thing when you choose to become engaged and marry your life partner. Decision number one, attraction or not. There are thousands of cars and trucks available that you could choose. It can be fun, but a little overwhelming to decide how much they appeal to you. The model, color, style, features, functions, and benefits all play into this decision. In stage one, you must decide if you are indeed attracted to the woman you're dating. You also need to choose which woman is the best fit for you throughout the top three levels of attraction, physical, emotional, and mental. I talked about these levels of attraction in my video, the best way to attract the right woman for you. The most important component of this decision is that you weigh them equally, which means delaying physical gratification to be sure that you like spending time with her as companions and that she continues to interest you intellectually before, during, and after your date. You might need to date a woman two or three times and talk with her on the phone between dates before you can make an informed decision about your attraction for her. That will help you to confidently move to the decision in stage two, should you continue dating. Once you've decided that you have a genuine attraction to a woman physically, emotionally, and mentally, you can get a little more serious about getting to know her. Many men feel buyer's remorse at this point because there are so many varieties of women who are available and you want to be sure you've seen all your choices and tested them out to find the best fit. Just like buying a car, you may pull away from the one you liked most, but you weren't sure it was the perfect one for you until you had seen all the other models that might be a little more right for you only to return back to that first one, realizing that it was the best choice all along. This is why people often step away from dating a specific person for a time, only to return later, delighted that that person is still available. I remember going through this process with my husband. When we first started dating, it went well for several months, and then I stopped seeing him for about a year, so I could date other men and figure out what I wanted. We ran into each other unexpectedly one day, and I realized that over that year, I had learned more about myself, and he was likely the one that I wanted. We started dating again, and two years later, we were married. 
This is a common story, and you may have heard something similar from family and friends. This will lead to the next decision in the third stage of dating, exclusive relationship. This is when you give up trying out all the other choices and focus on this one. When buying a car, once you've decided on a particular model, you begin to research specifications and consumer reports. Find out the availability and go to the dealership to test drive it and compare prices and financing. In your dating relationship, you spend more time together. Get to know her family and friends and hear what they say about her. Find out her likes and dislikes. Work out your schedules together. Enjoy physical affection such as kissing and cuddling. And buy her dinners and small gifts. Just as test driving a car helps you decide if it's the one you want by the way it performs, when you date exclusively, you can find out how she responds to you and if those responses make you happy. When you are satisfied with the quality of this exclusive relationship and want to take it to the next stage, intimacy, you make the decision to fully share yourself and get to know everything about your partner. This stage is similar to initiating financing and going through negotiations on price and trade-in values. You can still back out if the rates and price are not to your liking. Although you can walk away, you've invested time and effort into choosing this car, and it would be disappointing to give up on it now. In the intimacy stage, you are investing your time and effort and risking your feelings and trust. Although you can still walk away, it would hurt because of the loss of your investment. Still, it's better than committing to a deal that you regret because it isn't the right fit. When you have determined that you are satisfied with all of the details and you are comfortable that you have chosen well, you can move on to the big decision in stage five, engagement, and make that commitment. You've decided to buy the car, the price is right, the loan is approved, you sign the papers and the salesman hands you the key. How are you feeling? Elated and ready to drive your new car for years to come? Or are you worried and wondering if you made the right decision? If you've consciously made informed decisions during each stage of the dating relationship, then you shouldn't experience buyer's remorse or cold feet at this point. If you do, then you need to return to the stage where you failed to make the conscious decision to move forward. Did you feel pressured to get into an exclusive relationship before you felt ready? Are you having second thoughts about a different woman that you want to try dating again because you feel she would be a better fit? Tell your partner you want to go back a few steps and take it slower this time. Don't commit to engagement and marriage until you can honestly say you've happily committed to each one of the stages in the dating relationship. You don't want to drive a car for the next 10 years that you felt rushed into buying and didn't really like, so don't get into a committed relationship without doing the relationship research and taking the time to make the best decision possible. Then, when you get engaged and married, you won't be experiencing the buyer's remorse of, hey, if it doesn't work out, we can just get a divorce. That would be like saying, if I don't like this car, I can just crash it into a wall. Both are expensive, traumatic, painful, and involve a difficult recovery. Buyer's remorse, cognitive dissonance, cold feet, or second thoughts can come up during any point in the dating relationship. It's important to deal with those feelings immediately. Examine why you're unsure about moving forward and take a step back if necessary until you can consciously decide that this relationship is the right fit for you. You can't rely on somebody else to make that decision for you or you will regret where you end up. Follow through on each of the five stages of dating and when you drive that new car off the lot, you will be smiling happy to steer into your lane and head toward the future. No looking back and no regrets. Let me know if you have experienced buyer's remorse in dating or tell me if you have a difficult situation that you would like help to solve. I'd love to hear from you. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And take a moment now to like this video with a thumbs up 
Then, subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. The Softer Side